Why the move? Um, it's my calling. It's who I am as a Māori, proudly so, as a wahine Māori from a place that uh, has borne great leaders, and particularly from a marae that has brought great leaders, and actually gave rise to the very first Māori parliament, the Kotahitanga yeah. movement. So it's for me, it's coming home. Mm. Awesome. Is Labour failing Māori? Um, that's a question you need to ask Labour. Um, I'm here celebrating the fact that I've come yeah. home to Te Pāti Māori and for Kopapa that we all believe in as tangata whenua of this, of this country. Sure. Is the Labour Māori caucus in good shape? Uh, you should ask them that. We, we are in good shape. Te Pāti Māori <laughs> great, is great in shape. Great, great shape. Perfect. Okay. What change will you be advocating for as a Māori Party candidate? Uh, we've got some big issues here in Kaunganu. You've seen them on the ground. Uh, our people are suffering uh, from the impacts of Cyclone Gabriel. Uh, but throughout Ikoro Rafiti in Wairo, uh, North Clyde, and in parts of Tatai Rafiti, we have a lot to do. And I'm joining with my uh, whanaunga here, my party, to advocate for the immediate needs. But this is a long journey. This is not a short journey. And we, we're coming to our people to say that Te Pāti Māori uh, will represent you and the kaupapa and also for our mokopuna. This is an intergenerational shift yeah. that you're experiencing here um, and I'm proud to stand alongside these, these great folks to, to do that on behalf of our people. Have you felt frustrated not being able to do that as a Labour MP? Um, never ever frustrated. Nothing but happiness and positivity uh, with where we as a party are heading uh, on behalf of our people. Um, it's a great day. It's a great day for Kahunganu, it's a great day for Ikaro Rafati, it's a great day for Māori and Te Pāti Māori will be our deliverer. And when you make the decision and was there anything in particular that triggered the decision? Uh, as a strong Māori woman that, come, <laughs> that has borne me here of this place of Kahunganu on this marae, um, it's a natural progression. Uh, and some get there quicker, mm. <laughs> uh, some take a bit, a bit more time. Um, but I'm under no illusion <clears> that time is right. Uh, and uh, I'm just so grateful that Te Pāti Māori have welcomed me in and my whānau uh, with warmer hearts. We have a lot to do. Uh, this is our first step. Uh, watch the next few days, Ingrid. <laughs> what, what's your understanding of whether this means you've automatically given up your seat now that you switch sides? Is that no, no, I, no, no, no um, I'll answer the constitutional issues. Do you mind? Oh. That's okay. Sorry. No, no, um, we're working we'll that say. through with the Speaker as we speak right now, so it's inappropriate to give you um, any landing space until that conversation is concluded. There are legal issues, we're working our way through them. Thanks. Um, and Mika, have you communicated with the Prime Minister? Um, he will have seen the announcement that I've made here on my marae in a tikanga Māori way, uh, which was important to me as we moved uh, into this amazingly new opportunity for our people. Did you give him a heads up, sort of, I guess, before as this? I, as, I, as I said, uh, today is about announcing uh, me coming home uh, and the reasons why I've done that. And I guess this could be for anyone, but what, will you work with Labour Post-election? I'll leave that to the leaders. <laughs> oh, well, well, we'll work with anybody, and we've been pretty consistent in our messaging. Mm. We'll work with anybody in any party that is committed to creating a Tiriti Central for an Aotearoa Ho. And what will happen with Heather now? She was the Prime Minister. Heather endorsed her cousin um, as soon as she heard that um, Mecca was uh, resigning from the Labour Party taking up membership in the Party Māori. Uh, we met, um, she said here today she loves her cousin, supports her cousin, uh, and has stepped aside for uh, Mecca. What are your immediate plans? Um, I'm not sure if this is related or not around your seat, but in terms of, you know, obviously being the lead minister for Sakman Gabriel here, what does that mean now? So effectively I've resigned from the Labour Party and the whip no longer holds my vote. That's effectively what we're doing here. And, and therefore has resigned as a minister as well. Do you feel like there are... Do you think people will feel let down in a, you know, a, a super important juncture, I guess, after such a disaster that, that the leader of this community is, is switching sides and, and stepping down and looking up to someone like Gabriel? I, I actually think that people will see this decision for what it's, what it's, what it's worth. Uh, and it is a big... Uh, a, a big announcement, a big decision, but the people in, in Kahunganu 
and we so seen it this very marae, Te Aranga marae, uh, Taiho marae and Wairo all came to the fore during Cyclone Gabriel. We're, who's their voice? You know, and, and what I'm bringing is an Omahu Marae, and then we've got Waiahiki, and we've got Tangoa. We've got a lot of Marae's around Hawke's Bay suffering. Now I can freely go to bat on their behalf, and they are parts of the wider community. And we also want to ensure that our policy, and what I will be doing, is to ensure all the needs of Hawke's Bay are taken. You can't do that uh, when you're, when you're, when you're uh, with, with another group. I'm pleased at where I am and my ability to advocate strongly with what I know. What, what Mika has done is liberated Ikaro Rafiti from a, uh, been, been a seat that's been locked to Labour since, since the 1940s. And so this is an opportunity to bring the seat back to Dewi Māori, to Tangata Whenua, mm. to be the true voice of our people and not to be hamstrung by Pākehā parties and Pākehā agendas. Mika, is this a sort of strategic move to, to consolidate to a greater extent, Maori Party and TV, because you're, you're the only elected representative at the moment, uh, I mean elected in an in a electorate seat. So is that part of your thinking, to try and sort of just make it, you know, lock it in more? Well, look, he, here's the thing. We're 4.5% in the polls. 12 polls in a row, Maori Party's kingmaker. Uh, so, so these things don't um, mean a lot to us. We're building a movement. Mm. And um, Mecca is uh, just another part of that movement. Mm. And it doesn't matter if it's 2023, 2026, 2029, we are here for eternity mm. and, and to uphold our people. Mm. So uh, that's a neither here nor there question. That's, right. that's one. And, and the other question, I'll just ask one more. Yeah. I mean, have you done anything to sort of judge how this might be seen in your electorate? Because yeah. this, is, this has come out of the blue for me. <laughs> You obviously don't talk to a lot of Māori, uh, Simon. Yeah. Well, I seem to be, but not the right ones. <laughs> Might be out of blue for us, but this is out of brown for us. <laughs> no, um, look, Simon, what I can tell you is I've spoken to uh, my supporters throughout the electorate. They're actually over the moon. They actually said to me, why didn't I do this earlier? But uh, like a good, uh, good person, you try and do your absolute best with what you've got. Um, but right now... Um, so believe it or not, it's 10 years to the day that we buried Parakura, whose seat yeah. I took. Um, and when I came and to take that uh, seat back in 2013, I committed to doing 10 years. I'm now turned that chapter, and I'm about to go on a new chapter, and I'm excited about the journey. Yeah. Do you want to just explain, the, I guess, the previous weeks, the decision-making process that you kind of went through? And it's obviously a significant move that's it's possibly made the Māori Party a kingmaker for post-election. So can you just explain that decision-making and what kind of went through your head? I, I think it's a material. I, mm. I really do. Yeah, the polls the polls are very high and, like mm. John said, have been there before today's decision. Um, so I think it's a material and I think it's, it's really relevant yeah. about it. We've right. made a core True. and we're going forward. Yeah. I think the most important thing is um, the celebration of today and the affirmation of her returning yeah. back in Wakapapa <coughs> is that it's timely now that we take care of ourselves, for ourselves, by ourselves, mm. and not have voices, policy makers, legislation that has been vetted. And that's that's the liberation, the expression of excitement that we've got today. And I think that's what's got to be enjoyed. And you, um, you were a minister outside of cabinet. Mm. Did not um, becoming a minister inside of cabinet did that have anything to do with not your at decision? Not at all. Not at all. We're, bit, we're all bigger, we're, we're not as big as the kaupapa, the kaupapa is way bigger than any individual. But we've got a responsibility. While we're in positions of influence and can make change, we've got to make change. Which means you've got to put aside your ego or your individual gains and think about how is best going to translate to our people. How is it going to look after our mokopona, our kaumatua, our marae, our hapu. Mm -hmm. um, so no, that, that, wasn't, that wasn't a reason. Mm -hmm. How confident are you that you'll win the seat under Te Kāti Māori? Um, ultimately, uh, the decision will be the voters of Ikaro Rafiti. But I'll put my house on it. Oh, me, <laughs> me too. Yeah. Here, trying, to be, house uh, uh, try, trying to be humble. I've got to learn, I've got to learn not to be humble amongst these two. Um, but last, no, last we, we've, enjo we've enjoyed um, having the seat, and it's not a seat to be taken for granted. Mm. And we will work really hard in this election to, to retain and to win it for Te Kāti Māori. I guess just as a party, how significant is today for everyone? Well, this is hugely significant. This is mo this is a momentous day, mm. not only for 
for the liberation and the emancipation of Mecca, as she, as, as she has put it today, but also for Tiwi Māori. Mm. This is returning a seat that, that spans from Pōtaka all the way down to Wainui Omata, uh, giving it back to the people who deserve to have that seat, mm. to be unvetted, yep. uh, to be unapologetic yep. about our political aspirations uh, and, and dreams of self-determination and self-governance. This is huge. Mm. This is not anything. You know, Ma Māori Party has never held this seat, and today the seat returns to its rightful place with Tangata Whenua. Kia ora. Kia ora. Thank you.